Who is here? This is International Stacker with a jacked up voice. I don't dare mention the name of what it could be. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't worry, guys. It's not the <clears throat> thing we don't talk about. Let's see who joins the chat, and then we're going to have a little bit of fun playing with my international junk. Don't worry, guys. Junk silver. All you guys who clicked on this video, you're a bunch of you're a bunch of perverts. Bunch of perverts. But don't worry, it's not what you think. We're about to have fun with my international junk silver. I'll explain it here in a second. <clears throat> we got coin, silver journey, white dragon spot. Hey, spot stacker. Spot stacker, you recognize this? Uh Robert, budget bullion. Now you know where my now you know it's silver. All right, guys. Well, if you've seen a lot of my recent videos, I've been going all over the U.S. getting a bunch of different silver, and I've gotten a bunch of international silver lately. Yeah, if you guys can hear my throat, you definitely do not want to catch the, what I have. So smash the like button, then hand sanitize or hand wash for at least twenty seconds. Okay, sing happy birthday twice. Anyways, um. If you missed my stream, I had like a long stream with Slow Stacker a while ago. And we went, literally went through all my foreign silver. So <clears throat> this is actually still in this backpack because this is how I took it to Slow Stacker's house in this backpack. So we're going to pull all this out. And luckily, we've got it all nicely. And that's a solid gray black backpack if you're wondering. Look at we've got it all sorted. So these are different countries I have, Saudi Arabia, Swiss, uh, Vin is probably, I'm not sure, Colombia, oh, it's probably Venezuela, Australia, Canada, eh, Misk, Misk is only if there's like a couple coins, <clears throat> Egypt, India, I think it's the hiccups, um, Sweden, J, oh, for Japan. Ooh, and I have something to add to that. You guys are going to like it. Great Britain. What do you guys call it in Great Britain? Pre-decimal or something? Mexico? So now we're going to get to sort <clears throat> all this stuff into the bags and answer questions and talk. And then once I get it sorted, um, I'll show you the coins as we go. But once I get it swor sorted, if you guys want to see... A coin from a specific country, let me know. Oh, and look at this. Oh, those the, the Saudi Arabian coins are coming soon. We got more in here I forgot about. Australia. Ireland. I think I have two Australias. Portugal. Philippines, one of my faves. Netherlands. Germany. And we have Russia. And it's funny, he put the R, <laughs> Slow Stacker did that. He, if you guys don't know Slow Stacker, you need to sub him. Good friend of mine. Uh, but he put the R backwards because of Russia. So, let me uh, <clears throat> show you some of the stuff I got here that I know where it goes. One second, let me turn on the, let me turn on the overhead fan in here. For some reason, I get hot when I play with my junk. I don't know why. <laughs> so... If you caught the Canadian coin show, um, you would have saw all this British I got. So, let me sort this a little bit and then I'll show you guys a few samples. What did you say? How's the washer? Rocky Mountain Bear. I'm sure you're saying. Okay. All right. <clears throat> You're going to London in two days. Nice. I'm um, sorry to tell you, <clears throat> silver in London has a 20% VAT. So I've literally brought, bought British silver at spot in the United States multiple times. And there I paid a premium the first time I got it. So these are a bunch of half crowns. 1942. I think these are 50%. I have to look it up, guys. So these are all going to be half crowns. Half crown. Half crown. So let's find the, I saw the GB. Here's the GB for Great Britain. So put the half crowns in there. Um, these should be some, hey, OC Omega. These should be some Florins. 
Two shilling. Two shilling. I think there's a couple florins in here. That's a florin. Hey, Choppy, what's up? Yeah, I'm playing with my international junk this time. I won this from Spot Stacker, guys. He was in here earlier. I think he's still here. Um, Spot Stacker has the most epic giveaways ever. You need to go to his channel. He does it every month. And everything he gives away is premium. I won this, and he sent me a few other coins. So check out Spot Stacker. And remember, if I ever send you guys to a GAW, which is G-A-W for giveaway, and you win, you owe me a 10% GAW tax. An international stacker always collects. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, this looks like a bunch of U.S., so I'll put that to the side. And, <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be more U.S., you guys, these are the Barber Dimes. I got a spot in Barber Quarters. I got a spot in Connecticut. That was crazy. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, that's a mix. <clears throat> Here's some more U.S. I'll put that to the side because we're only playing with international junk right now. Uh, what is that? Uh, oh, it's a beat-up quarter. I freaking metal detected. Okay, put that to the side. Okay. Let's swap. This is only international junk silver. This is only international junk silver. So, and I might need your guys' help. So, <clears throat> get Google open. Because if I can't figure out Franco España, so that's Spain. Ooh, I know this is German. This is a commemorative. <clears throat> so, we got Spain and German. Oh, this is a beautiful coin, guys. Look at this. And you guys know I love Philippines. This is one peso, and look at the shape. This thing is in 1961. Holy moly. I wonder if... Uh, I'll put it in a flip. I can't just let that... I can't let this one just roll around in there, guys. Look how... Look at this. Look at the luster. <laughs> If you guys know me, you know I hate the word luster. Ah, oh, I found the flips. All right, so we're going to throw that in a flip just because that's a really nice shape. So that's some Philippine. So we're getting it sorted here, and then we're going to put it in its containers. And sorry, I'll try to catch your questions as we're going, but <clears throat> it's hard to do both at the same time. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, the luster. Okay. Oh, look at this is more. Okay, so this is U.S. Okay. Australia. I think this one's Australia. Come on. Okay, I need a light. Sixpence. That looks us. Is that Australian? Is that an Australian sixpence? I think it is. Um, that's the U.S. That's U.S. That's U.S. These are Barber Dimes. This. Oh, look at this. Nineteen twelve. Nineteen six. Where's <clears throat> nineteen twelve? That's got to be England. I'm gonna put it into the England one. So England, Australian, Spanish, Philippines, German. Ooh. <laughs> it's funny, brass. Here's another Morgan, but we'll, we're not doing the U.S. stuff right now. Look at this puppy. I'll leave this one in a flip, too. Look how good a shape this is in. This is one crown Bermuda. That's going to be my first Bermuda coin, I think. That's, that's going to go on the multi one. Okay. This is more foreign junk. Once I get these into all the bags, then I'll let you guys pick what we look at. That will be fun. 
Uh, this. Okay, Canada. Look at this, guys. Balboa. I don't think I have what you guys think I have. But, I mean, I have been traveling internationally. So, I guess I'm a candidate for it. <laughs> uh... But, so make sure you use hand sanitizer once you smash like, just in case. Bahamas. That's a quarter, so we'll put that in the U.S. We're only doing the international junk right now. Ooh, Indy. India. That's a Look how cool that is. I have a couple of those now. It's the East Indies, I think, which is... Um, <clears throat> oh, what is it? Hold up. East Indies is now... East Indies is now, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's where the big earthquake and tsunami was. Three pence. This has got to be England. I think it's England. Why can't I think of it? What's the name of that country? Gosh. Gosh, I guess. Okay, look at this six pence. You guys, is this Australian sixpence or English? I think it's Australian. That's Australian. The three prints could be Australian too, you think? Really? You know what? You're probably right. That does look Australian. We'll put it in there. I'll let my kids someday figure out. When they're going through all this, what the heck is all this? They're probably going to mix everything together and then realize I had sorted it. Uh, Sixpence 41. I'm thinking that is going to be England. Oh, this is probably English. Look at this, guys. And the key here is when you buy <clears throat> international junk silver, you can buy it at weight. So even if it's worn, it's still cool. Look, this is 1889. I had to get that just because it was super cool. I got that for weight, spot at weight. Like this, 18 something. Probably the same. Look at this. Indonesia, thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Indonesia. <clears throat> well, where is this from? 1918. I think this is English. Like, it's definitely the um, British Empire. So we'll put it in there. I could sort it later at a later date if I find out. Okay, this is going to be really old junk. This is from the Byzantine Empire. Was that India? That wasn't India. That India? That's not India. Oh, maybe when they're British. Look at this one I got. I think this is my first Cuban silver, Cuba. So we'll put that here because I'm not going to have enough. I got more Byzantine here. So put that to the side. We'll go into this one here. OC Omega loves. We got 46 people and 30 likes. Let's smash that like button. Smash that like button for the Philippines silver. <clears throat> Look at this, Philippines. So they were a protectorate of the United States, so we minted the money for them. And I can actually call it money because it was money back then. This is all going to be Philippine silver I have. Super cool stuff um, in my hand, not the whole thing. So this is all Philippines. <laughs> Smash like for more cowbell. I like that. If, if you want to hear ping, look, that's all Philippines. And wait until you see the bags I put this stuff in, guys. It's going to blow your mind. I've really hit it big on Philippines lately. And this stuff's rare, honestly. Mm. Speaking of the devil, half peso. That thing's like BU. Are you kidding me? It's BU. I got it at spot price. What year is this? And it's like a bicentennial or something. So we'll put that on the other side of this Philippine flip. That's cool. Uh, this is a medal from Saudi Arabia. You have to be careful so I don't face reveal. Um, but I'll keep that out to the side. Uh, 
Uh, did Byzantine Empire turn Persia, <clears throat> turn into Persia, then named Armenia? Uh, I can tell you the seat of the Byzantine Empire, which was the East Roman Empire, was Constantinople, which today is Istanbul. And I've taken you guys to Istanbul. So some of you might not know. This is a tower, so that's Austrian. So we're going to put that to the side. Uh, <clears throat> got some more Canadian here. It's a nice Canadian dollar. So I'll put that with the Canadian. Where did I put the... Where did I put the Canadian? Oh, here. Canada, yeah. And here's another Tyler. People have been really talking about the Towers lately, guys. They want them, so I think I'm going to give some of these away in the Mega. The Mega Go. If you guys haven't been here, my first Mega, I gave away like probably 20 something ounces. 30 ounces. My second Mega, that's a cleaned one. My second Mega, the first place was an entire kilo bar. Are you kidding me? A kilo. What is this third Mega going to be? I'm not sure, but it's going to be mega -er. Okay. Oh, interesting. What is this? Oh, Netherlands. So that's Netherlands junk. Okay, maybe I should put some of these away. And look at that, German. So these are two German coins. So let's find the Germany bag. Okay, here's India. We're going to need that. Here's Canada, we're gonna need that. Australia, we're gonna need that. Great Britain, we're gonna need that. Mexico, no. Jamaica, no. Misk, we're gonna need that. Venezuela, no, that's Panama. Russia, here's Germany. So two more coins of Germany. Netherlands. Oh, the Netherlands coin in there, you know, it's in. I just want to put it in a flip. I'm going to put it in a flip. It's that thing's like BU. Netherlands. Okay. Uh, we need Philippines. Ooh, Saudi. I'm going to show you guys that in a second. Here's Philippines. Look at that. <clears throat> My Philippines stack is getting out of control. Okay, we got the Philippines in there. Um, British. So we'll put the British in the Great Britain. Um, Australia. So put Australia in here. Um, Indian. And I just pulled, so we'll put that in here, which is India, Egypt, a few others. Um, Canada, we can do those. Here's Canadian. And actually, I'm going to put that in a flip as well. That is in just such good shape. And you guys, somewhere I've got a bag with like 200 of these Canadian dollars. So I'm actually going to keep that out for the Canadian dollar bag. All right, let me take a quick break here and answer some questions. Let's see what you guys are saying. Rider coins. Mmm. Thanks, Sean. Oh, well, little man, big opinion. Thanks for the $2 super chat. You found three war nickels and two buffs in a coin roll hunt today. Wow. Well, sounds like he has a channel, guys, so check him out. Little big man, thank you so much for that super chat. Your gentleman and a scholar. One four ounce of gold, maybe mega. That is nowhere close to mega. A quarter ounce of gold? You kidding me? I gave away a kilo bar last time. How am I going to beat a kilo? There's only one way to beat a kilo. Silver High International Tag Plane with your international junk. Better wear protection. Well, if you can hear, it already got me. What up, International? Just got a 1882cc Morgan. Awesome. Fiat Destroyer, you could have done a raid for me. What's up, SHTNF? I'm read. Oh, what are the ones for? Let's see. Press one to see international stacker unbox a gold kilo. How did you know I? Oh wait, that was a joke. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. 
All right, let's get, let's, let's, we're almost through this, and then you guys are going to be able to pick any bag you want to look at. So, this is going to be, oh, Canadian, okay. Too bad it's not Canadian bacon. This is going to be Republic of Ostrich. I think that's Sweden. I need someone to look this up. O S T E. Wait. O S T E R R E I C H. O S T E R R E I C H. Ostrich. Is that us? Oh, Austria. Dang it. Well, at least I know the Tallers are from Austria, so that's Austria. What an idiot. And then this is going to go in the misc because this is my only. Oh, Spain. I'm not, okay, I think Spain is going to go in the misc. I think Pan, uh, Bahamas is going to go in my misc. And my Cuba, because I don't believe I have Spain, Cuba. I just look real quick. We're almost done, and then we're going to have some more fun, I promise. Yeah, I'm going to put that all in the misc for now. If I only have one or two coins, I put them in here. Like, look, South America and stuff. Um, Panama is going to be in here, too, because this is a Panamadian Boulevard, I believe. Look at this. Are you kidding me? A Balboa? Look at the shape for spot price. Are you kidding me right now? See... All these LCSs have these coins they've collected for years, so they're trying to get rid of them at spot. So my plan is to visit every LCS in America and scoop them all up, and then I'll be in full control of the international junk trade. Spain has a little star on the back with two digit for day. Ooh, interesting. Philippines again. <clears throat> Look at that. I love that. Oh, this is more Philippines. Look at that. I, I just love the Philippines silver. I don't know why, guys. Can't get enough of it. Oh, and look, also, we wrote the percentage. So it's all 75% silver, that is. So that's something cool we did. And I have Austria, so we'll put the Austria in with the Austria. And you know what's interesting? I had thrown the Tallers in with my Saudi bag before. So now that we know these are all Austrian, I can put them all in the Austrian bag. So let's pull out my complete Taller stack right now. Look at these. Like, see, I'm tempted to give a bunch of this stuff out to you guys right now. I'm so tempted. I can't help myself. But I got to save it for the Mega because, you guys, we want the Mega to be mega er. And I can't make the mega mega er if I keep giving stuff out. You know what I mean? Look at these. All Tallers. So we'll put those in the Austria sack. What's up, Johnny? And then this is the my only Bermuda, so that's going in misc. Okay, get ready. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you guys what you want to look at here shortly. Canada. So Canada could go in here into Canada. All right, let me set this up. Let me set this up so you guys can see. Okay. And you're gonna get to tell me what you wanna take a look at, if you've ever wanted to look at any of this stuff. So we got Colombia. I'll try to organize a little too. So Middle East, we'll put in the middle, Saudi Arabia. South Americans, MISC can go with Colombia. Egypt can go in the middle. We'll put Australia in the middle too. Um, we'll put Philippines in the middle. Okay, this is getting crazy. Uh, Japan. I, oh, I have some more for Japan. Venezuela, Mexico. Really, those two should go over here with South America. So we'll put Australia here. Netherlands we can put here. <clears throat> Portugal, Ireland, Sweden. Um, Great Britain can go there. I guess Russia. Oh, dear Lord, I have even more. <clears throat> Swiss. Put Canada over here. But Japan, guys. I love Japan. And look what I'm adding to Japan. Where is it? 
These are called Electrum. And the interesting fact is these are 30% gold and 70% silver. And two of these were worth one of these. Two of these gold and silver made this one, which is completely silver. So anyways, we can look at that more if you guys want to look at it. <clears throat> but let me sort that. Let me take a drink here. We got one more bag to sort before we get to the fun. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. Oh, mama. That is beautiful Panama Balboa. Um, I think that guy's Swedish. That's British. It's that Swedish looking guy again. Swedish looking guy. I think it's Sweden. Sweden. What is this? What are you? mystery coin oh india look at that it's a half rupee that's sick okay let's see here Ooh, that looks german look at that this could be german or like prussian five deutsch 1900 Okay. Okay, more Indian. Ooh. What are these? What are these? What, what are those? What are these? I can't. I have no clue. All right, I'm just going to put the rest of these in MISC. I don't have the patience for it. I'll put it in MISC. We'll figure those out later. Except for that, that's Australia. So we figured out a few of them. <clears throat> I'll put them in MISC. Uh, India. So these two Indian can go there. Bam. Was there another MISC? Or is that the MISC? Here, mask. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's German. I need somebody to figure out what these are. These are all the same. I think they say Sphergi on them. What are these? Sphergi. Australia. Something different. I got two of these boys. Okay. GB. Australia. Let me look at the chat and see if you guys figured out what that was. Sweden. Okay, thank you. Can you guys figure out what these two are? Same coin, so I'll do one front, one back. Asfirgi again. Is this Swedish as well? Is this Swedish? What's up, Ben? What's up, Imperian? This is Swedish as well? All right, so I'm putting them in the Swedish, and then I can figure it out at a later date if it's not. All right. Woo! We sorted it, guys. Now we really get to play with my international junk. This is my entire international, like, junk silver stack. So let me see who's in chat and say welcome to everybody. <laughs> Catherine's saying... If she, if she gets quarantined, that's when she's going to sort her silver. Ben's in the house, silver ripple. Speggy, Speggy is in the house. He has the Sharona. You guys hear my voice, so once you smash a like, please use hand sanitizer. I can't be responsible. What's up, Roy? Brass Junkie, Sean, Jonathan Reese, Imp, 
Mahad is in the house, Johnny. Susie Ozzy coin, nice. Hey, Susie. I literally have something here with your name on it. Australia. Silver Steelers in the house. OC Omega Purple. Big Bank Little Bank. Snow. Everyone's here. All right, what do you guys want to see? Name a country. What do you guys want to see? Raymond's in the house. Imp Imperial saying smash the like aggressively until you start stacking it hard as hard. Uh, okay, the first one I see is Russia. I do have Russia. Not much. I need to step my Russia game up, but this is my Russia silver. It's 50% um, from what I could tell. And I would love to get like some Russian coins with like the hammer and sickle on them. I just feel like that would be so cool. These were actually recovered from a guy, a body at Chernobyl. No, I'm kidding. That didn't happen. Look at that. That's all I have in my Russian stack. All right. What else do you guys want to see? What else you want to see? What country? Yeah, Russia is hard. Germany. Okay, we can do Germany. And if you guys want to see some of those Saudi reals, just let me know. Maybe we'll look at it after this. If you saw my last video, that is. So for Germany, I have these. I don't really like the Olympic coins, guys. I don't know about you, but I just don't really like the Olympics. So before I was choosing, I didn't get these. But then I was like, oh, I should have got them because they had the epic bird on them. So I have... Um, Four Olympic ones, okay. And then I have these two, like, fivers. Are these five Deutschmarks? I don't know, you guys probably know better than me. Yeah, five Deutschmarks, it's right there. And this is that one we just found. This looks like five Deutsch too, but it's way smaller. See if I can get this to focus. That says, this is 1900. Five, oh, it says five pinning on it. Five pinning. And then we got this puppy. That's like some sort of commemorative coin from somewhere. So that's my German stack. What else do you guys want to see? We got a bunch of countries. We got like 50 countries there. The 1924 ruble is a crown size coin and it's 90%. Nice. Nice, Johnny. Would you avoid the Hitler era of German silver? No, silver heist. I'll take any silver I can get. And it's even better if it's from the Hitler era. Why? Because then when my grandkids and kids and all of them ask about it, I can teach them lessons. When you delete things from history, you risk rerunning them again. That's why, although I'm totally not like in agreement with like the Confederacy, I think tearing down those monuments is a mistake because it's removing what happened in the past that was negative in the country's history. And if you do that, you're going to repeat it. So I'll for sure get Hitler silver if I get the opportunity. India. Okay. So India is kind of mixed in with the Egyptian. So this is going to be fun. Okay, this is Egyptian. Look at this. Here's some really cool ones. And you guys, I streamed from Egypt cruising on the Nile River, getting attacked by pirates, raiding Daisy the Camel at the Pyramid of Giza and buying silver there. And a lot of you guys missed it. This isn't German. It looks like the German bird for sure, but it's Egyptian. Look at that. Thanks, Susie. Check this one out, guys. That is my favorite. Look at that. Yeah, Johnny remembers Daisy. If you guys ever seen that question I asked in my giveaways about Daisy the camel, that's what it is. Look at that. That's my fave. I need more of that. Okay, let's see if I got it. Oh, I've got more Egyptian before we get to the Indian. So I got this when I was there. Super epic. It looks like someone 
maybe made a little jewelry out of it one time. But that's a special Egyptian coin. This is like a commemorative silver. Look at that. World War Z. What is the big channel that promoted the pirates on the... Oh, yeah. Chills. I'm going to make a video about that, Silver Heist. You guys, a, a channel that's like a uh, horror channel. He has like 4 million subscribers. He featured my video of the pirates attacking. Me on the Nile. I literally got attacked. Go look at it. Um, this is going to be really worn. Let me look at it closer. This is a really worn Egyptian. This is Indian. And by Indian, I mean like India. Two rupees. And then we've got 1944. Burger King foot lettuce, yeah, foot lettuce. Half rupee India. And then we've got this, which is East Indies, but I just put it in there. India, Indies, close enough. <laughs> just kidding. I just got to sort it. And this is from East Indies as well. So look at that. That was cool. Oh, my knees. Oh, my gosh. I need to sit back for a second. I'm sitting on the floor. Polish breastfeeding coin? That's funny. Oh, Roy, that's right. Netherlands owned the East Indies. And while we're talking about Netherlands, we can look at Netherlands next. Yeah, well, good job, Roy. Thanks, Heist, for linking that. Nice, OC Omega. Congrats on that. American Silver Eagle. Yeah, Robert. We should. You should never forget history. I do not have any Korean coins. And I actually went to Korea, guys. Half the countries I've been to, I wasn't stacking at the time. Oh, I'm killing myself. Did you see that Cole Silver got a comment from Hickok45? Who's Hickok45? Pardon my ignorance. Somebody epic? I'll show you guys, Ireland is pretty cool. And I'll show you Netherlands. Ooh, and you know what I'm gonna show you? I am gonna show you, where is it? What was I gonna show you? I forgot, Netherlands. Uh, Portugal, Australia, Russia. Philip, look at all that Philippines, Egypt, Venezuela, Swiss, Canada. What was I going to show you? I'll show you some Saudi. I was going to show you guys something epic. and I. F oh, wait. I know what I was going to show you. We're going to look at Japan, too, because Japan is really sweet. Japan is one of my favorites, I think. Netherlands, East Indies. Um, I think I do have a couple random Peruvian pieces, but I'd have to look them up. Yeah, no way. I don't think I can get North Korea, but I can get South Korea for sure. Oh, yeah. Who's Hickok? Oh, biggest 2A channels out there. Nice. All right. So first off, first off, let me show you this Japanese. Oh, I do have a piece of a... I do have that, but it's not in this, it's in my other thing. So no, unfortunately, that's like deep underground. Um, so this is some different Japanese silver. That's a chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. So these are the different coins, which are cool, but that's not my favorite. My favorite is these, look at this. This is from 1830s to 1850s. This is called a BU Gin. And these are called. I dropped one. 
Uh-oh. Oh, no. Gold bar down. And these are called Shegans. Shegans. And it's called Electrum because it's a mix of gold and silver. 30% gold, 20% or 70% silver. Oh, my gosh. But two of these would equal one of these. So a very interesting thing happened in history. And I'm freaking out right now because I lost my other one of these. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to look. Annoying. So anyways, gold and silver ratio had changed in the rest of the world, but not in Japan. <clears throat> so in Japan, two of these were equal one of these. So when they started trading, uh, trading like externally with different countries, they found out that. So different countries were trading all their silver and taking a bunch of gold out of Japan. So there was a run on Japan's gold. So then they had to reevaluate their whole currency. So no longer did two of these equal one of these because this was all silver. See, it's 90%. But these and these are from the same time era. How did I lose my favorite little gold bar? Are you kidding me right now? Gosh dang it. I have to check the Roomba. I'm sure I'll find it around here somewhere. Wait until you see this. For those of you who are new with me, I did a stream from Ireland. The stream from Ireland is where I came up with for the number nines for the future of Mrs. International Stacker. And it doesn't mean what you guys think it means. So you're going to go to that stream and find out. But I got these special commemorative coins, which I should have gotten more because they got melted down. Because they weren't popular at the time. 1966. I believe these are 83% silver. So if you ever see these coins, get them, guys. Because there's only a few million minted and they melted a bunch down. And you can really tell the Irish stuff because they have the harp. Look at that, 1928. Super cool. And there's a video of me with Silver Limey buying this. There's this live stream with me and Silver Lime buying that. That's crazy. Look at this, 1930. You, and look, that's like a pig. You guys, I've literally met so many stackers around the world. Let me try to let me try to figure this out. Silver Lime, Backyard Bullion. Those are my overseas stackers. People in chat, Silver Heist, I met him. SHTNF, Scratch Hoarding Tinkery Fun. I met him two times. Or is it three times now? Two times? Um, I met Slow Stacker. I met Yankee. Um, I met AG Chopsticks. He was in here earlier. I met a lot of people in real life. Really cool. I met just another average stacker. Super cool stuff. Let me show you some of the Saudi. Look at all these. Look at all these reals I made it out with. Well, thanks, High Impact Vlogs, for watching. I appreciate you all coming along with me because. Without you guys, it's honestly boring. Honestly. Because I, like, had this epic stack, and I could tell nobody about it for, like, security reasons, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, dang it. I need a wife or something. So I didn't get a wife. Instead, I got a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's funny. And then somewhere in here, I have the smaller reals. I only have a few of those because they're very rare and expensive. Okay, let's see what your comments are saying. Chef is saying, next time in Arizona, dude, we'll do a cook-off for sure. I'll warn you, though, my friend, uh, if we're going to do a cook-off competition, I make a mean Hot Pocket. What's up? Ant is in the house. Marshall's complimenting high-impact vo vlogs for making great content. Brandon. I have a bunch of Japanese and Vietnam coins. Grandpa gave it to you. Awesome. High impact vlogs. I think I've seen your I think I've seen your stuff too. I think you got some great stuff. All right, where else you guys want to see or, or content? Content. What else you guys want to see? Look at the British. I just love this British stuff. See ya, Sean. C Y O T N O, right? Catch you on the next one. 
Um, <clears throat> the silver and gold market are going to continue just to be volatile. The main reason I'm stacking a lot of silver, I started with only silver. Then I got so much silver, I started to get some gold. <clears throat> but I'm only stacking silver right now. Is the gold to silver ratio just hit 100 to 1. So what does that mean? That means if this was one ounce of gold, <clears throat> it would literally be worth 100 ounces of silver. So the thought process is, if you stack mostly silver now, most stackers think silver to gold ratio is going to close, okay? The, it was originally like 12 to 1 in the ground, and then it went to 16 to 1. <clears throat> and it kept getting reevaluated through history. I think back in Roman times, it was like 10 to 1 or 8 to 1. Um, and then it was at 30 to 1 for a while, then up to 60, 70 to 1, 80 to 1, then it dropped back to 30. So the thought process is that eventually the silver to gold ratio is going to close again when when there's crazy market action. Now, I don't think it's going to go back to 20 to 1, but if it went to 30, 40, or even 50 to 1, then you cash in your silver at that time and you get double the gold. <clears throat> so if you buy a bunch of gold right now at 100 to 1, so look at this. If I bought 5 ounces of gold at 100 to 1, I get 5 ounces of gold. But if I buy 500 ounces of silver at 100 to 1, and then I switch them to, over to gold at 50 to 1, then I end up with 10 ounces of gold. So it's called playing the um, silver to gold ratio. It's called arbitrage. Um, so that's something a lot of stackers are going to do. <clears throat> I think the spot market are, is going to continue to be crazy until it can't be suppressed anymore. When can it not be suppressed? When you have economic issues. Right now we're in the longest expansion in U.S. history without an economic downturn, okay? So it's coming. It's not a conspiracy. The market's cyclical. It's coming. And traditionally, what's happened in the past is a you'll have a market sell off in the crash start, and then you'll see gold and silver spot price crash along with it. That's the time to buy because eventually everyone needs to put their money into safe assets. So then they put it into commodities um, and stuff like gold and silver. And then you ride it up, and then you sell out near the top. You take that money and you put it into another asset. And again, I'm not a financial advisor, but disclaimer is below, but this is what I'm going to do. Um, so when there's blood on the street, like in real estate, and you just sold off a bunch of your silver, <clears throat> then you buy income uh, producing real estate that pays you checks every month called residual income. So that's my plan. And guess what? If that doesn't happen before I retire, I'll retire on this. And if I don't need this when I retire, <clears throat> I'll get buried like Egyptian pharaoh status and let my kids like find it. So that's my plan. Hope that answered your question. Man, my phone is heat, heating up. I'm going to have to cool down my phone with my drink. Melt it around you. <laughs> yeah, I could, entomb, I could entomb myself in a sarcophagus of silver. You stack for emergency tacos. I think I'll show you guys. Oh, I found it. Thank God, my Electrum. <clears throat> my Electrum. Um, I think I'll show you guys one more country, and then I'm going to call it. As you can tell, my voice is killing me. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it's it's jacked up. What's the last country you guys want to see? Hey, Barbara. You'll trade toilet paper for Aussie coins? Like, you'll give me Aussie coins for toilet paper? I'll ship you a pallet. Yeah, I sound like Peter Brady. Guys, my voice is finally changing. I am sick, so once you smash like, please use the hand sanitizer. And a big shout out again earlier for that super chat uh, to the gentleman. Oh, I forget his name, but thank you so much for that. Let me let me show you guys this. So this is a solid gray backpack I keep my international stack in. You got hand sanitizer for a real? That's funny. There's a bunch of reals right there. I put that in the wrong one. <laughs> Nepsters, I don't have it, I don't think. But I mean, I was traveling everywhere, so I would be an ideal candidate. Maybe I do. Maybe I have it, guys. <clears throat> ah, little man, big opinion, gave me the super chat. Thank you. Little man, big opinion. 
Thank you, Silver Ripples, for that. That's why you're the mod of the century. 1918, three pence. I know, I'm gonna have to look that up. So what do you guys think? How's my international stack of junk silver? And here's the crazy thing, guys. All the junk silver you see here, pretty much all of it, except for maybe 5%, I got it spot price. So that's, they weigh the coin and they give me spot. That's crazy. Okay. Be here now is saying international. What do you think about Dr. Peter Duisberg? He basically says that the drug NZT is responsible for AIDS. I have no clue about that, my friend. I have no clue. 1920. British is 92.5, thank you. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, well, I think I'm going to get out of here and rest this voice. There's the bag of the towelers. They're looking pretty mega in there. Unless you have any last-minute questions before I close the vault of mystery. I'm young and in good health. I'll be fine. Hopefully. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to rest my voice. Um, remember, if the glove doesn't fit, you must have quit. Just kidding. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here when I'm on my deathbed, suffering from the thing we don't talk about. But it's, <coughs> I think it's legit something else because the signs and symptoms don't match up, but it could be. Maybe we'll find out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for joining me on my adventures around the world because you make it a lot of fun for me. And we'll see, see, we'll say C Y O T N O. Catch you on the next one. Woohoo! Let us out of here. Let us out of here. We want to be given away in the Mega. Mega, Mega.